In this video of Oracle SQL, we will begin with the group functions. In our previous videos, we have already discussed about the function and we noticed like functions were of two types that is a single row function and multi row function. Single row function which returns one result per record but here in multi row function or I should say group function, it will return a single result per the group. Means while working with the table, the whole table will be considered as a group and this group function will return a single value from that. Group functions are also called aggregate functions which calculates all the data and return a single value as you can see count means if I have the hundreds or thousands of record in my employees table but if I use the count method it will simply count the number of rows so it is returning a single value maybe it's 500 5 lakhs whatever but it is a single value similarly maximum minimum sum these are some functions commonly used functions which will return a single value per group so let's find out practically how to deal with these group functions so before getting started with the group functions let's find out a single column from the employees table that is salary and when I'll make a single request for that particular column let's see what I'll get here so here you can see I have 107 rows in the output where the salary of each and every employee is being mentioned but if I want to do some operations with these salaries for example I want to find the total salaries which I am paying so for that I need to go for the function called sum so here I will use this sum salary sum where sum is a function and salary is the column on which I want to apply this particular function so now here you can see I just got a single result in the output that is the total that is 691400 the total salary which is being paid to the users through the employees now if you want to do some more functionality so that is also available here like if you want to find the fun average of all the salaries paid similarly the minimum salary maximum salary for max function and if you want to count here we have a count function like salary and here you can find like some salary that is the total salary which is being paid average salary which you can pay for which is paid to all uh, the all the employees minimum salary that is 2100 maximum salary that is 24,000 out of these records and total there are 107 records so this is how you can use these group functions and, uh, and as I said a group function will return you a single value per group so here you can see only a single value it's being returned because it will consider the complete table as a single group in our next video we will find out like how can we split the complete table into smaller groups by using the group by